Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back with another report. Today I've got to do something that's insanely underrated at the moment for Series 7 being Support Spectria. But before that, make sure you guys remember to like, comment and subscribe as this really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and helps me spread the speech of sword around. Also guys, be sure to join the Discord if you guys want to know the secret source even earlier and discuss Series 7 team builds and more. And lastly, I stream every Friday at twitch.tv slash pp115 every Friday at 7pm UK time to catch me deep in the action. Also now we have Podforce merch, so check the link in the description below to support me with the merch. Without further ado, let's jump in. Before the release of Spectria, everyone overestimated Spectria saying damn he's got some godly speed here, insane offensive stats, but when it actually came out everyone was literally what face? Uh, this pony is horrible compared to its brother. It's Barada Glastria having only ghost, dark and ground coverage and having close to zero bulk as an offensive sweeper. It gets outclassed by everything introduced in this series and the big one before uh, being Dragapult. It gets one up by Dragapult which is not good for it. However, some people took a deeper delve into the Mon and tried him out as a more support oriented role which made Flexria actually somewhat viable. People were running Spectria with the Focus Sash ability Grim Nay because it only grimly nays um, <laughs> with the EVs 4 HP, 252 uh, special attack, 252 speed. There are more bulky variants out there so you can take away from mainly the special attack to lift certain threats however with will o -Wisp burns and snarls the frailer pony actually can survive a few hits. I wouldn't recommend it but you can also take away a little speed to become a bit bulkier but make sure you EV to outspeed what you need e.g. the potential mirror matchup or Inteleon in the next speed tier below. Um, running this guy with the timid nature moveset of Shadow Ball, Bulldoze, Will-O-Wisp, Torn or Snarl. This moveset is absolutely insane as it, it gives you insane utility especially because of how good Will-O-Wisp is in Series 7. It's absolutely crucial even with the mischance involved because firstly Intimidate is actually quite detrimental with Defiant Thunderous running around and also Clear Body Metagross. Intimidates e don't even work on him <laughs> or, they get or they don't get affected or they get affected but in the wrong way, in the bloody wrong way. This means having Will or Wisp is crucial for uh, before you stalled out Dynamaxes and enemy Pokemon with Intimidates. Now it's more stalling out with Will or Wisp, which affects generally everything. Some of you guys are probably wondering, but why can't I just run support Dragapult? It's faster and it's got access to Will O' Wisp. Well, because of Spectra's access to Bulldoze, it allows you to pair our favorite pony to any weakness policy Pokemon weak to ground type, specifically Metagross, while giving some speed control compared to Dragapult, which I believe only has access to serve as an AoE weakness policy proccer. Accompanied by that, a Dragapult loses out on moves like Taunt or Snarl, which can be more useful compared to Screens depending on the utility you need, Spectra can definitely hold its own compared to Dragapult because you can taunt Trick Rumors or you can just snarl uh, special threats down. Of course, Dragapult has screens to do the same but you can't taunt Trick Room setters, you kind of just have to live with the Trick Room. Lastly, in very specific scenarios, you can even Dynamax the Spectra and get Max Phantasm defense drops off. With an offensive physical partner, you can put on a lot of offensive pressure early on and potentially get some Grim Nace boost which will, can snowball your game, it's equivalent to Beast Boost. Um, whether this can occur in Dynamax form or in small form, it, it doesn't matter. If they leave it up, you can get a lot of KOs, uh, you can pick up a lot of cleanup KOs and you can grab some Grimne uh, special attack boosts up, which is absolutely insane. I strongly advise you guys to give Spectre a try instead of following the earlier video showcasing you Spectre as an offensive sweeper and being absolutely crap at it. I firmly believe Spectre utility has its own merits and can absolutely control a game very easily. Anyway, enough of the info dump, let's get straight into the action. Hey guys, what's going on? We're back with a post commentary is because um, I got this highlight when I was just playing alone. I was just recording some games and playing alone. But anyway, let's jump into this uh, game where we got for Spectra just being an absolute beast. So we're against a Stakataka Moltres team. This is becoming very, very popular. Um, I think I ended up leading Spectria Metagross. It looks Metagross looks pretty good. Fundress is a little bit scary again uh, going up against Stakataka mode. Uh, Moltres and Stakataka is really really good because it 
they cover for each other's weaknesses. So, for example, um, Sakataka is really, really good. At, I mean, really bad against ground types, but Moltres is immune to it. Uh, vice versa, Moltres is really bad against rock type uh, moves, so the Sakataka can switch into the um, switching for Moltres if there's a rock type move. And this core allows you to go for, have a fast max airstream mode and also a trick room mode. Let's see what he opts for though. He opts for a Dust Clops and a Vipurio. That means the Vipurio is definitely on Lightning Rod, so he was expecting some Thunderous here. But little does he know that my Spectra has got Taunt, so he can't get off a. Um, a greedy trick room. This is classed as a greedy trick room in my eyes because it doesn't have a follow me support so I can just easily taunt this guy and he can't do anything about this. I'm going to offer a protect on the Metagross to taunt and make sure the Metagross uh, takes as little damage as possible uh, especially because we can't burn the Rhyperior on the same turn as we taunt. Damn it Spectra why are you not good enough to taunt and will-o-wisp at the same time? Maybe it, that should be his signature move to taunt and will-o-wisp at the same time. That sounds pretty decent, right? Alright, he opts for uh, to Dynamax the Rhyperior. I feel like that's gonna be it. That's a, that's a, that's a waste. It's gonna be a little bit of a waste. He, he blow, he's blowing his load too early, guys. Um, so we end up getting the taunt off and the protect off and the taunt comes through. Let's see what the Rhyperior opts for. He goes for the Max Quake, uh, pr probably onto the Metagross here. That procs my weakness policy, uh, which is fortunate because now we don't have to proc our own weakness policy. Um, so that means I don't have to go for Bulldoze this turn to lower his speed because uh, this Rhyperior could be a very fast Rhyperior. Um, for max speed Rhyperior, I don't think we'll be able to outspeed Metagross anyway, but it'll be kind of weird if he is running max speed because he's running Dusclops by the side. Um, now it's going to be a Will-O-Wisp into the Rhyperior and we're going to go in and probably attack into it as well uh, Even though we might proc the weakness policy when it's burnt it really does no damage Especially if we're getting defense boost on the way with max steel spike He switches out his Dusclops for stack attacker so he's gonna end up going for another <laughs> trick room here But like I said it's another greedy trick room so the problem with greedy trick room is it easily just gets taunted. <laughs> so um, he's very likely going for a greedy trick room here again, um, but we'll see. We end up dynamaxing our Metagross. We probably end up doing around 50% damage to the Rhyperior even with Solid Rock, but I don't think it's on Solid Rock. I think it's on, um, it's definitely on Lightning Rock because it wants to protect the Moltres which is pretty good utility here. Let's go for the Max Steel Spike here and get the defense boost along the way. Whoa, that ended up doing way more damage than I expected. 70 to 80% damage. That's absolutely insane. Metagross is definitely gross, guys. Um, especially with Spectria. Spectria uh, really enables uh, Metagross uh, with the Will-O-Wisp and Taunt shenanigans. Uh, Max, Another Max Quake comes through. We were also lucky that we got the Will-O-Wisp. As you can see, that would have KO'd if we didn't burn the, the Rhyperior and the defense boost really helped out as well. This shows you the, even the burn, uh, even through burn and stuff, like Rhyperior is still a massive threat. Uh, okay, so I think this time we should go for the taunt and probably finish up the Rhyperior because Rhyperior is still a threat, but I'm scared of the max guard here. Uh, but I still have to make sure to hit it because if he doesn't protect and he gets off a free attack then we're in a really really bad shape here so we get off taunt he goes he does end up going for max guard here this is how some people can lose games if they're reading a little bit too hard and not just checking like this this is obvious that he could do uh, that he's got to protect but if i go target the stack attacker and he doesn't protect we lose our dynamax and I want my Dynamax for 3 turns guys. Having Dynamax for 3 turns is better than having Dynamax for 2. Um, statistically. Uh, okay so. I mean that's because we have more HP and stuff. So we can tank through a lot more. Uh, right here we're going to make our Spectria finish off the Rhyperior to get some Grim Nay boost. And we're going to start chunking down the Stack Attacker. Um, the Stack Attacker should probably die even with a Shucker Berry. Um, because it's 4x effective and we're weakness policy boosted. So, but we'll see. Uh, Shadow Bull comes out and we should be able to pop 
the Rhyperior and get a Grimnade boost. This will help clearing out the Dust Pops in the back, probably. Uh, hopefully. Uh, let's see what he goes for with the Stakataka here. Uh, Ma oh, I ended up going for Max Steel Spike here. Uh, I guess because uh, he's got a lot of physical threats and uh, still Max Steel Spike boost is really, really important for the late game uh, to, you know, leverage all that physical attack. As you can see, he went for Body Press here. Uh, if I went for a Max Quake, he would have done slightly more damage. That damage could equate to me getting picked off by a Nightshade. So, here we're in a really, really good position here. We taunted <laughs> his Takataka. He's trying to go for some greedy um, trick rooms. It's not working out for him. This is also an pro innate problem in teams that have a fast mode and a slow mode is Trick Room is sometimes not guaranteed in, in, in those hybrid teams uh, because, well, you don't have a Follow Me or a Fake Out for example. Uh, even sometimes Fake Outs, um, you, you can't guarantee it because, um, for example, Spectra can't get Faked Out. Uh, but here we go, I think we're going to try to finish off the Stack Attacker with Spectra and we're going to go in hard with our Metagross onto the Dusclops slot. I don't think I care too much about Trick Room up, so I don't think we ended up taunting. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Oh no, we ended up taunting to kind of provoke him a little bit more. It really shuts him down <laughs> because what what can he do about this taunt? Nothing. He has no, no protection. And this is why running uh, taunt is quite important for, for these situations. So you can he, oh, he finally reads that I'm going for a taunt. As you can see, that 6 HP really mattered. That max steel spike mattered, uh, guys. If I went for max quake there and try to get the knockout onto the stack attacker, uh, I might have missed it by just a little bit, and then uh, Dusclops might have uh, come and nightshade and killed me. But now we're in a really, really good spot. It's a 2v4 situation with a Dusclops and a Torkoal at the back. Um, so... I'm gonna just shadow ball the dust cops down whilst I uh, use my ground type coverage onto um, the Torkoal. Um, that he could protect on this Torkoal, but this is a really safe play of targeting uh, both targets instead of targeting one that could potentially protect. So when you're up ahead, make sure you don't do anything too stupid and uh, make allow your opponents to come back into the game with stupid uh, double ups. Make sure you just target everything and uh, and yeah, generally is good enough. Uh, I could have double target um, Dusclops as well because typically Dusclop doesn't run Protect so uh, it, it, it will probably be a very safe play too. Um, but he gets a crit onto our Metagross and misses out the KO on Spectra just a little bit. However, I, I, I it's impossible. He's like barely got a Pokemon left guys. Um, he's so low on HP and uh, we're about to, we bring out the the Landorus. I think we just gotta click Earthquake because why not. Um, <laughs> and that will probably seal up the deal here. But re this really showcases you the power of um, Spectra if they leave it up. As you can see, it, they left Spectra up for so long, it got so many taunts off. Um, I'm not running Snarl, but Snarl would be really awesome too. I didn't need to... Uh, Bulldoze, but I could have proc my own weakness policy on the Metagross, but he ends up proccing it through my Protect anyway. And the Shadow Ball actually Shadow Ball damage really ends up, um, you know, st ends up stacking up and increasing our, you know, offensive pre uh, pressure with Grimne. Uh, because, yeah, I mean, it's really fast and uh, it will probably guarantee uh, you getting. A attack off and that's why Spectre is super annoying to play against if you don't take it out uh, but if you do take even if you do try to take it out that means you're trying to take out a Spectre and with the Focus Sash set it usually gets off what it needs like a Will-O-Wisp and, and a proc of a weakness policy that's probably all, all it needs to do uh, um, which will take two turns and it will guarantee to get it off because of its uh, decent speed tier but hopefully you guys enjoyed this little post commentary. I'm sorry that I didn't record my live commentary for this. Uh, but if you find the Spectra video very helpful, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.